everybody. My name is Nyan. I'm a black female engineer. I provide content for you and aspiring software engineers. And today we are talking about the very controversial topic of if you need a computer science degree. And so this video is not going to be a debate e video of oh you need a computer science no you don't x y and z like no it's not gonna be debatey it'll be me laying down the facts to help you specifically you decide if you need or want to pursue a computer science degree in hopes of becoming a software developer or just a person in tech in general so yeah if you're looking for a commentator e video this is not it so bye okay so for those of y'all who stayed so first i'm going to talk about computer science as a major as a degree in general so what is the goal of a computer science degree the goal is for you to develop problem solving skills through the use of algorithms and operating systems and you'll practice your problem solving skills through things like homework, tests, team, and individual projects, and even things like research papers. You as a major will dive deep into things like computational finance, robotics, and even network security. And so you can really cover a lot. And you know, with four years, I would hope you would cover a lot. And so yes, it's less of a thing of, oh, I must learn JavaScript for front-end development. Instead, you're really touching multiple different parts of computer science and development. Now going on to language. Languages. So the types of languages you can expect to learn as a computer science major include languages like Java, C and C++, PHP, Python, and JavaScript. Those five are typically the go-to starter pack of a computer science major. You should also expect additional coursework in subjects like calculus, statistics, linear algebra, and other math related subjects. And so all in all, after getting a CS degree, you definitely are well set up for a starter job at a company. Now to get into whether you specifically you should get the degree or not, we're going to discuss some things that you should know at least consider before making that decision one of the things is to kind of have an understanding of what you're trying to do and where you're trying to be in general if you are fully aware that you want to work in ai and you see that there are no outside programs to help you do that and really the best choice for you is to go into a computer science degree major school master's program x y and z then definitely i'm not here to tell you no that is not my goal here but if your goal is to be in the tech field or you know you want to be a developer but you're not sure if you should focus on front end or back end or what languages that you really want to work with then that's where the conversation should really really start because it is my opinion that you definitely should not go into computer science with the idea that it is your only way to get there so if you don't believe me let me go into this real quick let me bring on some knowledge to y'all so there are insane top companies that don't look for degrees when making their hiring decisions if you don't believe me let's see if you recognize some of these google apple ibm facebook pinterest airbnb ebay and even linkedin yeah none of these companies require their programmers to have degrees and if that shocks you if that list of companies shocks you with oh really they they don't require a degree think about this there are companies on this list and i'm sure we all know that their founders dropped out of college to start these companies yeah so wouldn't it be kind of insane to now require me to have a degree because that would kind of tick me off a little bit not gonna lie now there were many many years where some if not all of these companies did require their programmers to have degrees however from what i have read it was more of a weeding out tool you can imagine the amount of people applying to their roles and so they wanted some way to make the job of looking through applicants easier and one of those ways is by weeding people out well what's a very simple easy way to weed someone out well 
disqualify them for not having a degree. I don't like it. I don't like it. And it looks like y'all didn't like it because they realized that that was not the right way to go. Because some of the most brilliant people, again, some, some of them dropped out of college and don't have college degrees, yet here they are. And so yes, if your goal is to be an employed developer, an employed software engineer, know that you don't need a degree to get there. Don't seek a computer science degree with the mindset of because I won't get a job without one. Now, that being said, where things get iffy and tricky is getting a major in computer science does prepare you well for technical interviews because a lot of these companies and companies in general have the technical interview portion of their recruiting process and that is really where a lot of reading out happens because a lot of people who self-taught or went to coding boot camps they're not well versed in data structures and algorithms and so that's really where things can bite them even if they can do the job they see that they couldn't get past the technical interview portion don't let that discourage you by the way because i saw this article that said a huge amount of the very people giving you the technical interview at these top fame companies they themselves cannot solve the problem without months and months of preparation so don't think that oh because i didn't actually get a degree and i got you know a certificate instead or went to a coding boot camp or self-taught me figuring out all this data structure stuff is not going to work like no even if you got that degree honey it would take you months months and months and months of preparation and when i say months i don't mean one to two months i mean up to a year. Yeah, people study for up to a year for interviews in these top companies. And so don't let that discourage you. It's not because you don't have a computer science degree. It's because you need to make sure you're really laying down the groundwork, making sure that you're well-versed and taking the amount of time it's gonna take for you to pass those rounds. And so yes, I did wanna make sure I pointed that out. That way I'm not getting hate mail or anything because you just failed your interview because you didn't prepare. Like that is not my fault. And so yes, it's not because you didn't get a computer science degree. It's because of the back end, tail end preparation that you need to do anyway. And so overall, computer science degrees are great for providing you that insight into multiple different languages, multiple different concepts and spheres in which you can use your knowledge, your technical knowledge. However, where they lack is providing you with newer and more up-to-date date skill sets and practice with languages. For example, let's say you know you want to be a front-end developer. Well, odds are a computer science degree isn't going to provide you with classes where you can really dive deep into Bootstrap and React and creating very sleek and functioning web apps or mobile apps. And so that's where things can kind of get iffy. However, what they do teach you is how to learn, how to program, because once you know how to code like one to two languages, oh, the whole world opens up for you. And so even though you want to be in front end, just you knowing, let's say Python, now you'll be able to learn JavaScript much easier. Now that you know JavaScript, you'll be able to learn React much easier and all of that. And so they provide you with that baseline of, okay, this is how you quote unquote program and hopefully now that you know these x amount of languages you'll be able to go off into the world like that but if you know you want to learn a specific language and a specific skill and you see the coursework and yeah the computer science degree the computer science program doesn't teach that then yeah that's when it's like mm, i'm good personally i'm good and so yes that's where the decision making comes in if you do want to become a developer but yeah don't want to go through the years of a, a computer science degree there are so many options for you you can go the self-teaching route there's so many free free resources out there for you like free code camp is right there in the name free code camp you can really start dabbling in coding and seeing what languages you like and if you even like the coding process in general then you can slowly rise up to more paid but still extremely discounted when we think about the cost of college tuition places like udemy edx udemy i got like five courses for ten dollars each because they're always having a grand sale that that's a conversation for a different day all these grand sales like just tell me your cost is ten dollars total all the time but that's a conversation for a different day so yes udemy edx 
Code Academy. There are just so many resources out there for you. If you see that you are the type that needs a teacher, but again, you don't want to go through these four years, three years getting a degree in computer science, then you can go the coding bootcamp route. And just because you're at a coding bootcamp doesn't mean you won't get the necessary skills needed. The actually coding bootcamp, what's amazing is they really, really go and fine tune the specific skills needed so that you can complete the course, complete the program in just a matter of months and be employable afterwards. And these coding bootcamps, they have very close tied relationships relationships with employers and so they stay in that constant communication with them trying to see what they look for in their developers what languages they want their developers to know and they use that to build their curriculum and so no coding bootcamp is a very great way to get into the field especially quickly now of course they have their own things going on all of these things have their pros and cons i have a couple of videos to go through all of those things and so i'll link them down below but i'm just telling you you have options don't attend college because you think that's the only way you'll get somewhere attend college because you want to attend it because you want to learn about computational finance and you want to do the algorithm prep and learn about all these different spheres of computer science while also having that student life and all of this go to college for that a thousand percent like i will cheer you on i'll drive you there no no i won't i won't drive you there but no i will be cheering you on but i'm just saying that's why I created this video so that you understood that there are options to getting into this field. So you may realize that you need a computer science degree. And so that's the point of this video, not do you, does the general you need a, co a computer science degree to be a software engineer, to be a developer? Cause my answer is no straight up no, but hopefully this video helped you see whether or not you need one. So there we go, everybody. Please like and subscribe. And I hope I answered some questions for you. If I didn't, please leave them down below. Please, please, please. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.